You too, right back at you. All right, tactic number eight, distributing collection. I told you. <laughs> man, if I can just remember all of them, you know, because I, you know, I was out the game for two years, so, you know, but I still remember these right here. So this one is a simple tactic, people, that, I, um, that I've used, and it's, um, it's effective, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, so, again, but I can't make any promises or guarantees any type of results, people, so... I I, I got to keep saying that because I know how people are, right? And that's one of the reasons why I got out of the industry because how people are, how people think. So I'm going to say this again. I'm not making any promises or guarantees, any type of results. But this one is when you dispute none of your, it's simple. This video can be, it could have been a short, um, dispute none of your state law, okay? Um, unfair and deceptive business practice, whatever, dispute under that, okay? Um, remember, First thing first, though, is you're going to ensure that that debt collector is registered in your state, okay? The debt collector is registered in your state. You got to know what that means, right? You see what I'm saying? They're registered to conduct business in the state. They meant, That's the difference between registered and licensed. Some state require the debt collector to be licensed, not all states. Here in the state of South Carolina, they only require to be registered, not licensed, right? But when they're registered, when you register, you're going to, you, that means you, you're going to be uh, complying with all state laws, <laughs> Right? All state laws, right? So unfair and deceptive business practices is, is, is one of them. And that will keep things in within the state. Because if you use the FDCPA, well, here in my state, we also have the, our version, state version of debt collecting um, laws and stuff. So, but still, it's on the state level. And, you you know, because if you use the FDCPA, remember, that's a that's a, a federal statute, you know, that's a U.S. district court has has jurisdiction. So you can try to take them small claims all you want, but, you know, they can, you know, request for the, what you call it, the venue, the change. Before, to Remember that, you know, it's a court, a competent jurisdiction. So that would be the U.S. district court. But if you're using your state law, you hold them to your state, you, you binding them to your state. And remember, every state is different. So what what they have to do in my state may be different in your state. So that's why you need to get to know your, your state laws as far as unfair and deceptive business practice or whatever. And you can hold them to your state. Now, if you decide to go to small claims, right? Yeah, they can go up to a higher court within the state <laughs> because you're using your state law or whatever, but if they appeal it or whatever, but you see what I'm saying? So that's a tactic that you can use and you're trying to, you're trying to contain them to within your state limits that's it your ass not getting out you know what i mean <laughs> that type of stuff you you know what i mean that's this all too you and you in my backyard now you bring them to your backyard right and you hosting a party you see what i'm saying so you the one controlling the music and everything and you the one that say lights out the party's over <laughs> so check you know that's just another tactic or whatever you know uh, for you to check and see if your state if your state has that if they have, you know, most all states going to have should have unfair and deceptive business practice. But what does it say? How does it fit your situation or whatever? And if you can get it, if you if it fits right, mm, dispute. Remember, start with the consumer reporting agency, and you're going to start just like that. Your with the you know the account or the whatever you dispute in the balance or whatever it is that you're going to use your state law as the relevant information okay you dispute in the balance or whatever let's just i ain't telling you what to do i'm just giving an example <laughs> the balance is inaccurate right you see what i'm saying violation of my state law or whatever da, 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 right removed from my credit report not in compliance with my state law that's it right <laughs> that's it what what kind of results do we expect we expect verified as accurate. We're going to be surprised if it gets deleted. But remember, I got to say this again because I ain't said it in a while. If it's on all three, the only thing we're going for is deletion on one. Now, this is don't do like these people doing out here. And hey, look, Equifax TransUnion deleted it. So you have to delete it. That's not what a fair credit report on that says. I'm going to show you what a fair credit report on that does say. Though. Let's, let's go over that. You know what I mean? If, we, if you guys don't mind. You know. <laughs> you know, I don't even have the FCRA pull up, but people, look, get you, you know, you can download it or whatever. People say they order it on Amazon. I'm like, uh, okay, I guess click of a button for me. <laughs> Serious, like I'm not, I'm not paying for that, right? But anyway, um, <laughs> I had to say that. I'm, I'm sorry, I had to say that. But uh, let's see if I can hold up. You know what? Let me see if I can. Let me do this the right way. Hold on, hold tight. Let me do it the right way. <laughs> oh, man. 
Let me go to a control F. Let me pull it up for you guys first, and then I already have it there. All right, there you go. I want y'all to see me clicking and this guy just clicking this stuff. <laughs> All right, so now, now we're gonna go to section 623. All right, we're gonna get out of paragraph A here. We're gonna scroll over down to paragraph B because, well, guess what? Because B is what we consume under. A, we can't, but that doesn't mean that they're not. They don't have to comply with Section 8. We just, you know, you can't, you know, civil liability is B after that's when you dispute with a consumer reporting agency and the consumer reporting agency get the dispute to the furnisher. Well, it says right here, if the investigation finds that the information is incomplete or, or inaccurate, report those results to all other consumer reporting agencies to which the person furnished the information. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Deck Collector, sorry, but I'm not sorry. You, this information was deleted on Equifax. Right, as a furniture of information, <laughs> you are required to comply with the FCRA. I am demanding, not requesting, I am demanding that you for this right here that you report these results <laughs> that I'm providing you a copy of, right? To all the consumer reporting agents. And by the way, let me help you out. It's on Experian and TransUnion. So you can go ahead and send it on to them too. I'll give you the address and everything. But you're gonna do it through the um the AUD, right? Um, the automated universal data form. We already know it. They can do it quick, fast, and in a hurry, people. But here we go. Okay. That's all you need is deleted from one. Just remember that. Right. Um, my tactics are a little different than everyone else. I, I mean, they're most nice to everyone else, but most people, I got that. Am I saying I'm the best? Not never that. But it's just sometimes you can't just do what everyone else does. You know, you can't, I, everyone going right. You know, I'm like, I'm going left. You know what I mean? Even though it's like, man, I don't know what's down there, but I want to see what's down there, right? And uh, it was rewarding for me and my business, you know what I mean? Um, and not saying I was able to help everyone. Um, some people I couldn't, you know, just being straight up. I couldn't, and some people didn't want to help themselves. So, eh, you know what I mean? But overall, I was successful, you know what I mean? And I, so right now I'm just trying to give back and I'm, I'm going, for that, going for that impact until I end my channel. And I'm more than likely going to end by the end of this year, this channel will be no more. So I'm going to give all I can, continue to push and um, share what I can and uh, help out who I can. Like not, I can't be doing all these one-on-ones. I just don't have that, that kind of time. But as many people as I can help, I will. If I see you going astray or whatever, I'm like, yo, I've been down there. All right. You're talking about down payments are illegal. And you're using 15 USC 1605. That's the determination of finance charge, right? If you do control F, you won't find down see down payment nowhere written in that statute, but you will find it in 15 USC 1638. <laughs> Catch y'all on the next one. Have the notifications on. All right, peace, y'all.